Welcome to a closer look at the GoCo Pro QS2536. Um, a computer to screen imaging system. Now, what we're using is a thermal print head. Here we printed the design from Adobe Illustrator. And the thermal print head burn the image into the mesh. Now this is, the mesh is unique in the fact being that the bottom part, when you feel it, feels like mesh, but the top part is shiny. The top part is a siliconized polymer film that is welded to the mesh. So once it's stretched and we put it into the printer, the thermal print head perforates and burns holes into the polyester film, which is what gets us our stencil on there. The one of the crazy reasons they were able to get high resolution, if you look at the leopard shirt um, on there, on the mannequin, at the trade shows, we print that shirt quite often, and a lot of people think that it is direct to garment, even though it's 65 LPI. That is only a four color image. It is our tiger white, high opaque low bleed is an underbase, our super drake red, our super gold, and then our Tiger white again is a highlight white or a key white on there. One of the reasons that we're able to get that insane amount of resolution is the um, number of steps in that, or, or the number of generations. Typical screen printing, we're dealing with fourth generation artwork. And what I mean by that is that we print a film positive and we lose a little bit of information. We take that film positive and we expose it to a screen and we lose a little bit of information. We go back and we develop that screen, we wash out the screen, and we lose a little bit of information. And we take that screen and we print it to the shirt and once again, we lose a little bit of information. Because it's done in gradual steps, we generally don't notice it. If you make a copy of a copy, you don't notice a difference. But if you make a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, when you get to fourth generation and you compare fourth to first, you notice what all you lost. With this system, we're dealing with second generation artwork. We take a high resolution file and even though we're burning it at 1200 by 600 DPI, we still lose a little bit of information. So we burn the screen, we lose a little bit, and then we take the image and we print it to the shirt, we lose a little bit. And that's why we're able to get very high resolution. And it's very easily repeatable because it is actually printing with thermal print head, burning the image into the screen, we have minimal data loss. We did lose some, but we're going to lose it regardless no matter how we do it, whether we're printing an inkjet film, etc. on there. But what we have eliminated is a lot of technical emulsion over mesh, mesh selection on there. Um, tension does not play as vital of a role. When we were printing that shirt at the um, ISS Houston show, a customer came by and said, is this screen 40 newtons? And I said, no. And they said, well, we just left the seminar. I said, you can't do high resolution images without 40 newtons. And I showed them the shirt that we we're printing on there. So it is a different technology. It will interact differently. Now the QS 25 by 36 is a large printer on there. It will handle, I can put the screen back in. You have got your thermal print head, which is down here. And it's the little shiny bar with the lines in it. That's your thermal print head. And here is your contact roller. And that, your screen slides into place. Now this is a 21 by 23. It'll also work with 24 inch white screens as well. The largest screen it will handle is a 25 by 36 on there. We can lock it down. This is our adjustable guide here that locks in. So if we're doing a larger screen or a smaller screen, we can bring it in. Nice and snug. It locks our screen into place. 
We've got an on-off switch. This does not require RIP software, which is a big benefit. You don't have to worry about um, a lot of the um, adjustment fine-tuning. Everything is inside a printer. It works off a simple print driver. So you can print from an Adobe PDF. You can print from Illustrator, CorelDRAW, Microsoft Publisher, Word, um, even from Internet Explorer on there. You to say you want high resolution, the higher the resolution artwork you have, the higher the resolution print that you're going to be able to achieve. Printing speeds on here and anything else are going anywhere from 90 seconds to 2 minutes on there. As you saw in the earlier videos, we're able to reclaim a screen very quickly and we're able to stretch a screen and be back on press in under 10 minutes from one screen to another. We have cut out our exposing units, our emulsions, our chemicals, our washout booths, our dry cabinets, our inkjet printers, our inkjet film on there, and the time. The time has went from being approximately three hours to make a screen in completion to 10 minutes on there. We've also substantially cut down the amount of floor space, the amount of power consumption, that we're using, the amount of utilities that we're using. These units are really large in Europe and Asia where um, uh, the cost of floor space and your utilities um, uh, can be um, substantial parts of the manufacturing costs on here. Uh, so um, please stop by our Atlanta showroom, check it out for a live demonstration. And um, then if you enjoyed our video, please give us a like or a share. And as always, thanks for watching.